Hello, my name's Sir Slowly and today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 buildings that you need to keep upgrading throughout the game. So, I'm going to get started now and start off with the most obvious, is your castle. Now, I'm going to tell you why it's important to upgrade your castle and I'll show you in this here, if you press a question mark there before, you can see all this that you get. So when you upgrade your castle, at the moment I'm level 24, and it sees there is your army size, it increases, it increases your defence, deploy deployment limit, sorry should I say, and help limit. How many people in your alliance that can help you at once, you know with a little gauntlet that I showed you on another video down there well that does that and as you can see the effects it unlocks hospitals weirwoods blah 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 so ideally we want level 25 as soon as possible because we want to be able to send out the most troops on attacks and also it's good for rebel camps and stuff like that so ideally we want level 25 so we can send 200 troops and you can shelter as well it increases the amount of troops you can shelter so if you see here a shelter which is one of the most important buildings as you already know i can do 160 at the moment so have a look on this again 160 there we go so once i upgrade that to level 25 it'll be 200 200 care troops I can hide in my shelter the next building I want to talk about is warehouse and as you can see this is your warehouse building here we need to keep this upgraded because when we have lots of resources on your account you can see it gives you a protection limit how much resources it will protect so you can have resources on your account while being attacked and you will lose nothing so if we click on the question mark here again you can see the levels what we get so it increases grain limits iron stone and wood so as you get it down to 25 this is a little trick i like to show people it only it protects 250 of everything else but it also starts to protect gold dragons now as you know a normal warehouse does not protect gold you see I've, the exact amount is unprotected in there because i haven't got level 25 yet but once i get it level 25 my gold is also protected to 2.5 million gold so get that upgraded as quick as possible so you can be attacked without worrying about losing resources and gold dragons The next building I want to talk about is your embassy. Now, have you ever been attacked and thought, I wish I had some help because this guy's too big and he's doing too much damage, there's no chance of defending yourself against it? Well, your embassy helps with that. As you can see, if we click on the question mark, you can see the amount of people that can reinforce you and the troops they can send so here you see i'm at level 21 here i can have 400k extra troops reinforce me through people in the alliance now as you can see when we get to level 25 we can have a whopping million people troops in your protecting you that's reinforcing you at once and also once you get at level 25 you get the additional effect of reinforcement marching speed by 10 percent so if you have think about it this account is 15 million i think it is nearly 16 million it has 350k tier threes so if i'm attacked there by if you're attacked should i say by someone and you have your embassy upgraded to level 25 by my power if you're 10 million you could have an extra million troops defending your city and i wouldn't stand a chance basically all my troops will be dead. I won't have you. They could hit you all day long, and they're not going to be able to kill that many troops unless they are huge players. That's why it's always good to be in an active alliance that can help you grow and add on the ball online quite a bit, and they will reinforce you if you are attacked by someone. The 
The next building I want to talk about is the Banner Hall. Now the Banner Hall is here and a lot of people neglect this to start with but if you're running an alliance or stand a high position in the alliance this is a vital building that you need to help your alliance progress dramatically. So what this does it increases the amount of troops that you can send on a rally. As you can see when we press the question mark button you can see the amount of troops you can send. I've got this level 20 and I can send just short of a million on a rally. But that's through the castle and other bonuses and stuff like that. So once I get to level 25 I can send 2 million troops on a rally. Now I'm going to make a video about rallies because this is important and I see a lot of people not sending the correct troops and I will go all over that in another video but once you get this to 25 that's 2 million troops you can send and also with the additional effect it increases the rally army attack bonus of 10% so this is a must but I will warn you it is expensive to do here you can see we need 990 to get to the next level and that costs basically 15,000 diamonds it's okay all you need to do is gradually save up diamonds and build it up the best way to get your diamonds is through your iron bank which is this building here now once you upgrade this a bit you will be able to invest your diamonds and here you can see I've got 30 day diamonds where I invested 10 10k just short and I will get 20k back but it takes a month to do now this one's nearly over so that's a bonus there so I will be getting that and investing it back into the banner hall once I have enough but what I like to do in the iron bank is once I collect the diamonds I invest it back straight away and I'm going to try and upgrade the iron bank a bit more so I hope that was helpful Get them banner halls up and do some awesome rallies with your alliance. Last but not least we're going to talk about hospitals. And I can't stress this enough how important hospitals are. Yeah, I'm going to show you the amount of troops this account has. It has just short of 350k. So ideally when we are attacked we want to be able to heal as many troops as possible. Now the hospital gives us that opportunity. Here you can see individually what the hospital does. So if I upgrade that to level 25 at the moment it's 30,000 and if I get it to 25 it will heal 40,000 in this hospital alone. And once you get to level 25 you get the 5% increase but this does not just happen for one building all these buildings here are hospitals so here you can see it's exactly the same 40,000 there at 25 and it gives a 5% health bonus now as you're going along and you get more troops you're going to need to upgrade more hospitals this means replacing your mints you always need one mint and you need well, you don't even need one army tent because once you get your ba um, your barracks upgraded to 25 you'll be able to do 5,000 troop training so you can get rid of them and the mines you need one mine up to keep the upgrades going so eventually you will be able to remove them and build more and more hospitals and if you go to the second tab here you can see how many troops in total you can heal here we can just uh, just short of 350k now if you remember my troop total on this account is just 350k so I'm at a good place now I want to upgrade the hospitals more on this account because I want to be able to plan for the future but as you're building your troops keep upgrading your hospitals I can't stress that enough how important it is because once if there's no space in your hospital once you're attacked your troops die instead of go to wounded now as you know troops take so long to upgrade the they're a pain you know there are a lot of resources so you want to save as many troops as possible so you can take your revenge and kick some ass 
I hope these tips have been helpful and if you have any questions please feel free to ask. You can contact me on the server at my name Sir Slowly on Kingdom24 or you can leave a message below in the comments.